In this video, we're going to look at listing outcomes. Whenever an event has happened, or two events has happened, or more, it can be very useful to consider what are the possible outcomes. To do this, what you should do is you should list the possible outcomes. So here's an example. A coin is flipped and a dice is rolled. List all the outcomes, all the possible outcomes. So, first of all, you've got a coin is flipped. So you could get a tail and a one. So you get a tail and a one. So let's write that down. We could get a tail and a one. I'm just going to write T1. We could get a tail and a two. Like so. To write it down, tail two. We could get a tail and a three. So tail three. We could get a tail and a four. So tail four. We could get a tail and a five. Tail five. We could also get a tail and a six tail six. However, we may have uh, got a head instead of a tail, so we could get a head and a one, so head one, h1. We could get a head and a two, head two. We could get a head and a three, head three. We could get a head and a four, h4. We could get a head and a five, H5, we could get a head and a 6, H6. So now we've listed all the possible outcomes. And we've done it in a systematic way. So we've went through logically. We started with a tail, done tail 1, tail 2, tail 3, tail 4, tail 5, tail 6. And then we said we could have got a head. So we then got H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. And because we've done that, we know we have covered all the possible outcomes. So there's 12 different outcomes. And then you could answer questions on it. So they could ask you in a, pro in a probability question, what's the probability if a coin is flipped and a dice is rolled of getting a head and a 1? So it'd be 1 out of 12, so 1 12th. They could ask you, what's the probability of getting a head and an even number? So that would be that option, that one, or that one, a head 2, a head 4, or a head 6. So that'd be 3 out of 12, and so on. And you can cancel that down to 1 quarter. So you can answer lots of different questions once you've listed the outcomes. Let's do a typical exam question now. Okay, a bag contains a red ball, a blue ball, and a green ball. And a coin can land on head or tails. A ball is chosen at random from the bag and the coin is thrown. One of the possible outcomes, a red ball and a head, is shown. List all the other possible outcomes. So we've got in one, we've got a bag, and in the bag we've got red, blue, and green. And then the coin is heads or tails. So the first outcome of a red and a head is listed. So let's then do the rest. So we've got red and a head. We have then red and a tail. So notice I'm doing this in a systematic way, red and a tail. Then we could get a blue and a head. Or a blue and a tail. And finally, we could get a green and a head. Or we could get a green and a tail. Okay, so notice we went through our question systematically. We've done red, head, red, tail. Blue, head, blue, tail. Green, head, green, tail. So this all together, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different possible outcomes. And then the probably next part of the question probably would ask you a probability question based on this.